one of the chief complaints that traditional marketarians have about using lasers in their work is a small dark edge around the cut line. Others see the edge as a valuable design element and helps provide additional definition to the shape. Whichever side of the debate you're on, there are some ways to minimize edge charring. Lasers cut the wood by burning through it, so some discoloration is inevitable on, on some lighter wood species like birch and, and maple. The example shown here shows a worst case scenario for edge charring because the veneer is relatively light. The image on the left was laser cut, flopped, air assisted on a, on a honeycomb bed, and the one on the right was just cut with a knife. And you can see that the, the edge is apparent on both of them, but the charring introduced by the laser is, is minimal. This can be dramatically reduced by, by doing the following things in order of their effectiveness. You can flop the veneer. The back side of the veneer uh, has less charring than the front side typically, and it's a simple task to flop the image horizontally in your, in your drawing or in light burn when you send it to the laser, and then flip the veneer over when it's cut. Number two would be to use a honeycomb base plate to dissipate the, uh, the fumes on the back side while cutting. Uh, this is very effective and a very inexpensive way to uh, reduce charring. You can also vary the speed and power of the laser when you cut the wood. Uh, slower speeds coupled with lower power levels tend to leave less charring. There are no hard rules and it varies with the wood species, but some casual experimentation will help you find a good setting. On, on mine, I typically uh, run 50% power and, uh, and about 400 millimeters per second, but that's a 5 watt laser. Uh, if you had a 10 watt light laser, it's probably uh, you'd probably want to increase the speed or decrease the power. A very effective way of reducing charring is using air assist, which works by blowing air directly at the cutting area while you're cutting, and that scatters the burning wood before it actually coats the wood. Almost all lasers can have air assist added to it, uh, either through a very simple addition of a metal or plastic cone that sits above the cutting head and it is fed by a pump that's similar to an aquarium uh, air supply. There are a couple other techniques that people use to reduce charring which are less effective than the ones just listed. For one thing you can sand the edges of, of the wood using light sandpaper but you'll probably need to adjust the kerf a bit to make the shapes fit properly. Uh, you can also use a vacuum table, which is a little more extreme, uh, which, which sucks the air out from the bottom, and that also helps uh, getting the, the charring off of it. Finally, you can add masking tape or some other kind of masking material that's specifically designed for lasers to help protect the veneer surface while, while you're cutting and minimizing charring.